and the members of our public who have been volunteering their time, efforts and creativity for Operation Santa Claus. As you know, Operation Santa Claus is the annual charity campaign organized by RTHK and SCMP. And this year is our biggest year yet and we are raising money for 23 beneficiaries. So we are delighted when we are joining hands with the community and when they're so active in helping our cause. Several events have already been held at Laguna City and to tell us more, we've got Vic Krishnan and his son Abai Krishnan to join us to tell us more. Good afternoon to you all. Thank you so much for, for joining us and thank you so much for, for donating your time as well. Right, Vic, we spoke this time last year, it seems like only a few weeks ago. You were telling us all the great work that members of your community have been doing. Can you tell us um, what events have you planned for this year? Okay, last year we got into it, we jumped into the water and we learned to swim. But this year, the all the interest came from the community. They were asking us since October, what are you going to do? So we have the same events we had last year. We have a food fair, we have uh, uh, some merchandise sale. But uh, what different thing we did this year is uh, we prepawned the house to house caroling the kids have already visited many houses have we, we have a new generation of kids because the kids who were in the original caroling team are all teenagers and uh, so we have a new crop of kids and, grooming uh, the next generation yes, yes, yes. and um, another thing we did is we did a charity walk uh, what Prompted is, is, I can tell you a small story. I take this bus every day morning to work to 19X and uh, I was just wondering what I can do different. And I see this dainty lady in two inch heels and uh, wearing nice a, a red jacket walking down the street. And it struck me, oh my God, we should do a walk. Okay, so how do we plan it? I, I told my wife, okay, let's walk from Chimchachai Promenade to Laguna City and uh, find sponsors. So there were not many takers, but there was me and my wife, then Abai joined, and uh, later we have a few more friends who joined. And we walked on 10th of this month from Chimchaji Pranad. We started at 7, and we reached Laguna City at 10. We took some scenic routes, we walked through Kuntong Promenade also, and uh, we raised a sizable sum. And it was exciting. The thing is, uh, just the achievement that uh, we could walk. And it's so walkable, you know, people take it for granted, but Hong Kong is really walkable. Yes, yes. Yeah. So how did you sort of persuade sponsors to sponsor? You just said, we're going to do this charity walk. Yes. Uh, I just sponsored my son. So I set, set an example by walking myself and sponsoring him. <laughs> then my friends, they pitched in. Then we have a couple of uh, uh, supermarkets. Uh, they have pitched in and uh, we have one one. Corporate who doesn't want to be named, they also pitched in. So it was fun. Yeah. It was fun. It's the charity angle is always there, but we all had fun. Yeah. It was it was a great team effort. Well, let's bring Abai into this discussion as well. When your dad approached you to do this charity walk, what were your first thoughts? I mean, it's great. It's just a privilege to be able to just learn about being more socially aware. I mean, even at school. I mean, a lot of people think that it's. We don't, they don't teach it so much, but the thing is that we have charity bake sales. We raise about $100,000, $200,000 for charity. So I think what all this is, is about is not just about raising money, but just, as you said, grooming the next generation to become more socially aware. So, I mean, it's just a privilege for me. Yeah. Oh, wow. It makes me so happy to hear that. And what, do you tell your friends about Operation Santa Claus as well? Yeah. I mean, a lot of them have heard about it. A lot more getting involved this year. I mean, last year was just the start and this year is just getting more and more populated. Bigger and better. Uh, next year is our 30th year. So we are relying on, on, on your support and your help as well. Let's go back to Laguna City. So this main event will be happening this Sunday, the 18th of December. Sunday, 18th of December. It's uh, from two uh, from 11.30 to 2.30. We are having about seven to eight uh, groups of uh, ladies serving Indian delicacies primarily. And there will also be some chicken wings and stuff for the carnivore people. Uh, <laughs> and then people have taken interest. They want to be part of the event now so we have merchants coming in they want to display wine they want to display homemade cookies they want to display uh, homemade soap hand printed linen bed linen wow uh, and that that is like you know every piece is so unique so 
the thing is now we are we are challenge for space because too many people want to be part of it it's it's a good challenge we will manage it and uh, we 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 hope to raise uh, a decent sum for uh, osc Vic, also tell us how was it selecting the variety of different uh, stores and shops? Did you, were you quite conscious in, in in thinking some must be food, some must be some, um, or was it just how it happened? So, what it attracts people in Hong Kong is food, of right? Course, yeah. Okay, you you put a Disneyland, nobody want to go, but you put some food stalls outside, you will find a crowd there, right? So we we went on that concept. So we have food stalls. Which is the primary attraction? Sundays nobody have they help us coming in, so they have food there, and which is and they need to be fed, and they need to be fed, and it's cheaper than what you can find outside. So that is done. Then we had to make sure that there is a synergy. So somebody want to put wine, I said okay because it goes with the food. Somebody want to put cookies and Indian savouries. We are going to have the Indian chai, which goes well with the wow. Indian savouries. Okay, so it's it all has to connect. And as far as the merchandise is concerned, uh, it's a separate department, and they are going to manage themselves, and they have promised a percentage to the cost. So there was the only selection process. There is also a lady who designs um, cards, Christmas cards. So she has already done a project for Mother's Choice, and uh, now she is going to join us. So we are just putting it out there. If it sells, it sells. At least people have a choice. So we we give them the choice, and with our limited space, uh, I think we should be doing be doing quite well. Does it often surprise you how um, the, the, the feedback and the response from from the public? Because you know you put out an event like this, and it's not always a guaranteed. But like you said, people are already inquiring early, as early as October. This is even before yes. we launched Operation Santa Claus. Yes, yes, yes. People want to do good. The thing is. See, this is not a religious thing because it's associated with Christmas, right? It is just end of the year when you, like, as an accountant, I will tally my balance sheet end of the year. So you have to balance your good with your bad you have done during the year. Yeah. So we try to try to do better. So this is something which is going through everybody's mind. Okay, let's do something good. People have to take a leadership role, and I think you guys, OSC, has done it. And we are just, you know, piggybacking on you. Not at all. We really, really rely on the goodness of your heart. And you know, sometimes in this industry, we're always shrouded with negative news and bad news. And it really is so encouraging when you see a group of people such as yourselves just having the heart, the generosity, just donating your time and your kindness as well. It's really, really touching. In business, there is something called LLC, right? That is limited liability company. Uh, we want to do a new LLC, love, laughter, and <laughs> compassion. That's right? Good one. Okay. So let's. This is a season of joy, right? So let's spread some love, spread some laughter. I like to quip a lot, so this is one of my quips. Sorry, uh, but uh, then compassion is something which we have to have. Okay, offering a lady a seat on the MTR or anything like you need to be aware of your surroundings, and uh, this is something a concept you guys have devised, and we are just trying to you know permeate. This into our community and uh, setting good examples uh, for my child is something which always uh, motivates me to do things. Absolutely, and I'm sure you've done a fantastic job. Isn't he such a great example as well? Tell us, so what is your role in this um, event then? What have you been doing? What I've been doing is more of the awareness part. I mean, I took part in the walkathon first of all, and we raised quite a bit of money for that. I've also been telling my friends. I mean, obviously the next generation, and like the more. Of the young generation that is involved, the more that we raise, and it's the same thing is going to happen for the next decade or two. And um, also, a lot of behind-the-scenes work's been taking place. For example, um, for the fair, um, we have kind of bundles of coupons that are going to be used to buy merchandise and to sell it. So um, we've also been kind of separating them into se d different bundles, and there's a few thousand car coupons. And oh, we kind yeah, of the kids have been doing a lot of voluntary work. Yeah, and it's sort of the thankless jobs as well, you know, the, the really tedious, you know, sorting out the coupons, working long hours and sorting them out as well. Yeah, actually, yeah, the Christmas holidays is going in this. I'm sorry, Abai. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, when you know it's going to a good cause, then y you, you, 
never feel kind of like it's tedious or monotonous. I mean, it's going to a good cause, so you just feel happy and thankful, like kind of available for it. Yeah, I've got the biggest smile. I'm just so happy that, you know, we've got a young person here so encouraged uh, about raising uh, money for the, those who are marginalized and, and underprivileged as well. Is it on Facebook as well? Tell us how we can find out more. We have a Facebook page and uh, I can send you the link and um, we are auctioning yeah that's one thing last year we had auctions this year this year we have auctions also and a lot of restaurants are giving us coupons because it, it was the most popular item so we have got more on board th this year it goes back to what you were saying that food is food, the way food, 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 food is the way food is the way food is the culture uh, food is what uh, separates us from animals right we cook food we like to eat good food good wine um, so I don't want to reveal too much of my culinary skills but <laughs> but uh, yeah it's uh, I think the main event is food even on the on the auction site plus we have a whatsapp group we, we have a community whatsapp group in Laguna City it was a visionary thing to do uh, mid midnight anybody want any help put in the group and somebody will help you so, yeah, yeah we have about nearly Are 400 people yeah we have about in that whatsapp group yes, four, we have like maximum number of people in the group and uh, it was a visionary thing to do people uh, go to the airport forgot their passport okay call, uh, put in the group I want my passport somebody will rush with the passport things like that so it has been very helpful and we are a very close knit community in Laguna City we are very proud to be part of it and um, this event without the people we are lost okay I am sure they will come and support us a lot and uh, it's going to be bigger and I hope not to let them down what a fantastic community spirit you have it in Laguna City uh, such a big whatsapp group and if somebody forgets something somebody else from the group yes, will help yes, out yes, yes, yes. oh wow I think we need to have I live on the island I think we need something like that thank you so much for your time this afternoon yeah, see you on Sunday I yeah, hope. thanks a lot thanks a lot